game day on the plains. Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking a little Auburn football, taking on Tennessee today in Jordan Harris Stadium. First night game of the year. The actually, actually, the weather's pretty good. It's probably going to cool off as the night progresses. But as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. Doing a little game day uh, preview. We've actually been previewing this game all week, but now we're going to dissect a few things that Auburn absolutely has to do in order to win this particular football game of course for some of you smart asses out there score more points obviously but either way a couple of things Auburn needs to do first of all uh starts with Tennessee actually Tennessee's depth chart says that Jarrett Guarantano should be the starter I know I butchered his name but it'll be all right uh should be the starter he's the red shirt senior uh, he's been around the program for a little while, has had some ups and downs. This year, more downs than ups. And things are getting a little questionable to where Tennessee is probably going to roll, could possibly roll with the freshman Harrison, I mean, yeah, Har- Harrison Bailey um, in this particular football game. The freshman, the four star, high end four star recruit out of Marietta, Georgia, could get the starting out. He looks the part in it. And you know how Auburn does it. When you have a quarterback starting off for the first time, when you have a quarterback that's been in a slump, man, the Auburn game can't come soon enough. They always seem to allow guys to have breakout games in certain, you know what I'm saying, because uh, Guarantano had a breakout game the last time he came to Auburn in 2018. So that's something that Auburn is really going to have to look out for. Who's going to be the starting quarterback? And let's just say we know who the starting quarterback is. I would say Harrison Bailey, but who knows? The, the situation is this. If Auburn is going to maintain control of this football game, they're going to have to really, really dominate some things up front. I know things are not going to be Marlon Davis or Derek Brownish, but, you know, somebody really needs to emerge as a threat at the defensive line. Uh, a lot of times Kevin Steele is having to do some creative things to create pressure, and that's just not sustainable. You got to you got to have guys in coverage. You got to have guys um you know, covering the perimeter or else Auburn is going to get beat deep. And, you know, that can really neutralize an otherwise what could be a dominant game for the Tigers. Uh, number two, I think Auburn really, really needs to continue to establish the run game. Uh, Jeremy Pruitt at the defensive, co- I mean, the head coach for Tennessee seems to think, and he has proven that his defenses can, you know, kind of predict what Gus Malzahn is going to do. But one thing about it, Gus Malzahn has not had the skill players that he has now. He hasn't had the size at the wide receiver. He hasn't had a legit SEC running back for the last couple of years. So you could see, okay, yeah, you can stop. You might might know it, but can you stop it because of the skill set of the players? I think Auburn is going to have to continue the trend of making Tennessee's defense give up big plays. Tennessee's defense has been real vulnerable to the big plays. So time of possession is going to be key. Also, when you get the lead, don't pump the brakes. That's something that Auburn is really bad about. Didn't do it as much against um, LSU. Things were going right. Probably could have scored 70 points on LSU that particular game. But a lot of the things that went on in that game is not really sustainable. So Auburn is going to have to really safeguard the middle of the second quarter and the middle of the third quarter like they did against LSU, outscoring LSU 42-3 to during that time. As long as Auburn has a 14-point edge, during that you know in the plus 14 during that particular portion of the football game I think Auburn will be okay Gus Malzahn can't get out coached in this game this is a game that Auburn should win I think Auburn is overall the more confident team Tennessee is very talented but they don't come in this game with a lot of confidence so I think Gus Malzahn can't get caught with his pants down he can't get out out coached in this game uh offensive line has to continue to show signs of improvement we don't think they're going to be an all sec line but they have to continue to show signs of continuity signs of improvement to really give this team a chance to possibly uh, be dominant in this one i think auburn wins this football game 35 to 14 as long as these things are in alignment auburn should be good to go uh like the video comment and subscribe i hope you guys enjoy the game starts at seven o'clock eastern time six p.m. Central for all my folks back in Alabama. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.